Day one of the Eat Your Yard Diet. A strange man in the gym bathroom told me about this diet. It's supposed to increase self-sufficiency and mental awareness. I usually don't listen to men in the bathroom, but I had to try it. Meditation was in order. I was convinced that my lung was filled with great nutrients. I was really feeling really good that day, probably because I had a well-balanced keto diet and plenty of exercise and water. Luckily, finding water in the yard wasn't hard to do. If it's good enough for the crows, it's good enough for me. Nothing like some morning yoga. The only problem is, I don't know how to grow anything. The garden, it bore no fruit. On day two, things started looking grim. I was very hungry. My darkest moment came when the neighborhood cat wandered into the yard. All I could see was little dancing rotisserie chickens. I wondered how delicious it might be. I wondered how long it could sustain me. So tempting. Things started to look very grim, and I hoped the neighbors weren't watching me struggle. More meditation was in order. I thought I could clear my mind and come up with a solid plan. That's what I remembered. Life-giving grass. It's green, full of nutrients. It must be food. This will keep me alive.